Welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to be working on a Club Car DS IQ. We're going to be installing an Altrax XCT 500 amp controller. We're going to see if we can make this thing boogie on down the road. So let's get our tools and get started. These are the tools we'll be using today. These are the parts included in your kit. Before doing anything electrical to the golf car, the first thing we want to do is raise the seat and underneath we have a run tow switch. We want to always put it into tow. First we're going to take our rear inspection panel off by removing these four bolts. Okay, next we're going to be removing our cables. But before you remove any cables, go ahead and take a picture of where the cables are so it'll be easier to put them back. First thing we're going to do here is go ahead and remove our cable tie to give us more room. Now we'll disconnect our speed sensor, which will no longer be used, our F1 wire, F2 wire, and our main wiring harness. Now, with a 13 millimeter socket, we'll remove the three larger cables. Black being on top, then white, and yellow and green being on the bottom. Now, we'll remove the controller by removing the top bolt here, the bottom bolt, and there's one on the right side. Okay, what we're going to do now is actually trace out the base of this so we can make a template. Now we'll mark the holes so we can mount this to the car. Now let's punch out the holes. Now in marking our template, make sure that the word all tracks is upside down. So let's put it in here and mark it. Now let's drill out the holes. Now to put the nuts and washers on. Now to add some much needed link to this negative lead, we're going to install this fuse link to the cable on one end and to the battery on the other.
Next, what we'll do is we'll take the F1 and F2 wire, cut the female spades off, and put on the ring terms that were supplied in the kit. Okay, the first thing we're going to hook up is the battery negative. This wire is coming straight from the battery. Next, the white wire. Then our blue F2. and then our orange F1. Next, we will hook up the yellow wire and the green wire to the B+. Now let's hook up the main wiring harness. Okay, we're gonna take our on-the-fly controller and mount it here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drill a hole for the cable just underneath it, here normally where your golf balls would go. So we can run it under the car to the controller. Let's run the cable along the frame and zip tie it to the other cables that's already there. Now let's hook up our on-the-fly controller. Our on-the-fly control panel is supplied to us with some Velcro. I've attached the Velcro to the back of the panel. Now all I gotta do is press it firmly up against the dash and we are ready to go. Now we can reinstall our rear inspection cover. Now the last thing before we take this thing out and we'll see if it will boogie down the road is to put it back and to run.
Well, I am thoroughly satisfied with this Alltrax XCT 500 amp controller. It did its job. We boogied down the road. It's a good thing I had coffee and donuts with me, and the cop was in a good mood. Well, that's the end of this project, so let's put our toys away. See y'all next time at the garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.